Adobe Sign is a cloud-based e-signature service that allows the user to send, sign, track, and manage signature processes using a browser or mobile device. What's up everybody, Scott Perry with Indie Solution, and today we're talking about the system we use to create, sign, and send our documents called Adobe Sign. Wait, aren't we in real estate? Aren't we supposed to be talking about DocuSign? Did you not watch the original video where we talked about why we use this system? Yeah. And I thought it was ridiculous then. All I see on Facebook Have you ever is, even done a deal? How is that relevant? Have you ever done one? Um, yeah, like 30 this year. Really? You just sit around on YouTube all day. How could you possibly have done anything else? Don't worry about the YouTubes. Just do your work. Okay, but all I see on Facebook is stuff about DocuSign. It's not that DocuSign is bad. You know we just feel Adobe Sign is more user-friendly and professional. I'm a wholesaler. I'm not supposed to be professional. You know what? I'm getting back to the video. But before we get into that, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe down below for more real estate related content. As a real estate business, we spend a lot of time creating documents that also require signatures. The faster we can get this time consuming task done, the better, allowing us to focus on bigger picture items. This is why it's important to have a system that will allow you to create professional documents with ease. Adobe Sign allows you to not only accomplish this in the office quickly, it's also able to be used on a tablet. Considering how much of real estate investing is done outside the office, this is a huge advantage. Today, we're gonna to walk you through using this system to create, send, and sign documents. Okay, now we're on Adobe Sign, and we're gonna show you how we use this to fill our purchase contract, as well as email it out for signature. So first, you're gonna have your PDF blank document, and you can find this on our website, by the way, for free. We offer the purchase and sales agreement for a free download. So go check that out at theindysolution.com. So what you're gonna do first is you're going to save the file as a new document. So you're gonna to go to File, Save As, and I've already saved as a new document, but you know, make sure you change this, that way you're not overriding the same document every time. So I would save that, like I said, I already did. Then you're gonna go over to edit PDF. Now you're gonna start adding in text boxes. So you've got the add text, and this is how easy it is. You just click there. And you're just gonna click wherever you wanna add this in. So this agreement is made this day, let's say it's the 30th, and then you just click in the next box of December 2020. And there you go. Now the nice thing is you can now move this box around if it's, you know, you can drag, click and drag. Say this 30, you want to make it look a little nicer. You can pull it up and fix it that way. Then you're going to add in between seller, Jojo, buyer. This is going to be the indie solution, so forth. Street address is gonna be, you know, one, two, three, main street. And again, if it, if it looks like this, you can just click on the box, drag it up, and there you have it. A legal description, we normally just put uh, NA a lot of times, uh, depending on where you are, it's not that big of a deal, what kind of title companies you use and stuff like that. County, we'll add that in there. Uh, and we'll do a video uh, at some point in the future explaining what all this means on this purchase contract. Uh, the big thing here, the buyer, the indie solution, which is us, and or a sign, that's the key right there for wholesalers. You add in the uh, closing date and where you're going to do the title. Uh, pro tip here for title, we always do every time TBD, to be determined. Because in previous times, we've had instances where we know we're gonna close with one title company, we really thought we were gonna be with them, and then something happened where they couldn't get to it for a few weeks, so we had to change the title company. So even if you think you know the title company you're going with, make sure you put TBD, because we had to redo the contract, get the seller to re-sign it, and you always wanna just get the seller's signature and then basically take them out of the equation, take over the problem for them. So always, always, always put TBD, pro tip, uh, for the location of closing. So now that that's there, we filled it out. Let's say we put all that in there. We're gonna go to Adobe Sign. And now this is where you're gonna add signatures. 
So I'm going to say that Joe is the seller, for example. And I'm going to put my name as the buyer. Now this is the email message they're going to get. So let's say you have an address here. That's normally how we title our PDF uh, documents. So say you put 123 Main Street Street, and then whatever you want the title. Then in here you can say, you know, please review and complete this document. You can leave it that way, or you can say, you know, thank you for the opportunity, opportunity work with you, however you want to say it. That's the body of the email. So now you're going to say specify where to sign. Now this is really important because you want to make sure that you have the seller sign it first and then we'll sign it after they do. The reason for that is we've learned the hard way and we signed one first before and what they did is they just printed it off and then they took it to another wholesaler and asked if they would give another thousand. Well, if a wholesaler knows that you have it at this, that's how it works. So they basically used our contract to bid up the price. Um, so we ended up losing that deal, learned that lesson the hard way, as I said. So you always have the seller sign first on a purchase contract. Then once you get it back, then you can sign it. So I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom where the signature is. And you always, like I said, first, so that's why you type in Joe is going to be the so-called seller of this house. So I got that click there. I'm going to click here to fill the field. And on the top, we're going to put his signature. So right here you have a text box, signature box, and then you have other options here. You can set different things if you need dates, anything like that. So I'm going to do signature, and you see it changes to signature. I'm going to click right below it and leave it as text. That way he can type in his name or company if it's a company that owns it. And then the signature, they'll click on that and be able to sign it. So we did the, uh, Joe's first as the seller. Now I'll be the so-called buyer in this one, Scott Thandy Solution. Again, I'm going to click on the top here. And I'm going to change it to a signature. Make sure you remember to do that. Uh, we have forgot that in the early days before where we uh, put text on both of them. So then we had to resend it out again. And every time you have to resend something, it just doesn't look professional. Uh, so make sure you spend some time, do some test ones with your own email in here. Uh, first before you start sending it to um, actual leads. And then down here, going to add the text. So I'll, down here, I'm going to type my name and sign it. Now you're going to go sign then send. All right. And then we send it out. You can see we're waiting on the buyer signature here. Uh, now it is Joe's account, so he can actually sign it because we use his email as the uh, prospected seller. So that'll email it out. The seller will get a copy in their email. They'll sign it, and then once they sign it, it's real easy. You just click on it, type in your name, and then click uh, I agree to it and sign. And then once they sign that, it will then email the buyer, which would be us, the Indy Solution, or me in this example, we would sign it, and once we sign it, it sends out a completed copy to all parties that are involved in the document. As you can see, Adobe Sign is a great tool we use weekly. Are you a sold out DocuSign user? Let us know how we're wrong in the comments below. Or if we convince you to switch, give us a thumbs up. As always, our free seven day trial link to PropStream is in the description below. Hey Scott, any other shameless plugs we forgot to mention? I'd remind them to smash that like button and subscribe down below. Oh yeah, go ahead and do that. I'm Scott Perry with Indie Solution. See you in the next video.